In this video, we'll review the proofs for similar triangles. There are three theorems that we can use for proving that two triangles are similar. The first is AA similarity theorem, the second is SAS similarity theorem, and the third is SS similarity theorem. These are the three we'll review for this video. To begin, let's look at AA similarity theorem. The full name for this theorem is the angle-angle triangle similarity theorem, but we're going to abbreviate it AA similarity theorem. For the AA similarity theorem, imagine we have a triangle. Here's triangle ABC and we make a dilation of it. We make the new figure bigger, and we magnify it by an equal factor. This becomes triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Now I know these triangles are dilations because I watched it be an expansion of the original. If this is true, and I know that triangle ABC and um, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime are two triangles, then the following must be true if they're a dilation. Angle A is congruent to A prime, B is congruent to B prime, and angle C is congruent to C prime because they're the corresponding angles. Now, if I want to actually prove that these triangles were um, similar, and I wanted to use a similarity theorem, I'd have to talk about the pairs of corresponding congruent angles. Now, it's only going to be an, um, necessary to prove that two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. I don't have to do all three, because if I know two pairs are congruent, then the third also has to be, even though I don't prove it, because of triangle sum theorem. So when we do a similarity theorem, we only need to prove that you have two pairs of concurrent corresponding angles. So imagine this was a test question, and I wanted to prove that the triangles are similar, and I was given the following information. Angles B and B prime are congruent, and angles A and A prime are congruent. And I'm asked, can I prove that these triangles are in fact similar? Here's where I would use a similarity theorem. I see that we have two pairs of congruent corresponding angles. So to lay out a proof, it'll go like this. Pick your first pair of congruent corresponding angles. Here, angle B and B prime are congruent, and I was given that. Angles A and A prime are congruent, and again, I was given that. Which means because I have two, two pairs of congruent corresponding angles, then I can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Make sure you write those in corresponding order. If you say triangle ABC, you have to use A prime, B prime, C prime, because those are the corresponding uh, vertices. Now, the reason for this is a similarity theorem, and there's how we abbreviate it. Now, this is going to be the easiest of the three methods. AA similarity theorem requires only two pieces, two pairs of congruent corresponding angles. So now let's turn our attention to SAS similarity theorem. For SAS similarity theorem, you need to have the following information. You need to have two pairs of co corresponding sides that are proportional, and you need the included angle to, to be congruent. That is, the two sides that are proportional, where they meet, that has to be the angle you're given. So in this case, we have side AC and TC on that little triangle, and where they meet is angle C. And we're told angle C is congruent to angle O, and angle O is where DO and side GO meet. So that is the included angle. Now notice, it says that we need corresponding proportional sides. We don't need the sides to be equal, they need to be proportional. Proportional means they have the same ratio. So to set this up, I'm going to begin with my angle. I know that angle C and O are congruent. <coughs> the reason for that it was given. We had the tick mark there. Next, I'm going to look at proportional sides, and I'm going to look at the side ratios. The side ratios of CA to DO, that's those sides there, would be 4, 6. So the ratio of AC to DO is 4, 6, and 4, 6 reduces to 2 thirds. Now the other side ratio, side CT to OG, looks different. It's 10 fifteenths, but 10 fifteenths reduces also to two-thirds. The two-thirds and the two-thirds are equal, so my sides are proportional. They both have that ratio of two-thirds. The justification for this is going to be the ratio of corresponding sides. Now that I have the two pairs of corresponding proportional sides, and I have the included angle, I can say this is SAS similarity theorem. SAS similarity theorem is your two pairs of proportional sides and the included angle. And that's what we have here. So when we name it, we just got to pick an order that matches. If I use triangle ACT, then I'd have to go triangle DOG. If I go the other way around and say triangle CAT, then I'd go ODG. I just got to make sure that my um, corresponding vertices are the ones I'm using. So I'm going to start with triangle ACT. That is from the top to the left to the right. So the uh, matching pieces on the other figure would be from D to O to G. And again, this is by SAS Similarity Theorem. Now let's look at the third method. 
The third and last method is SSS similarity theorem. For SSS similarity theorem, you need all pairs of corresponding, sorry, let me say it again. You need all pairs of corresponding, but, wow, I'm having problems here. One more time. All pairs of corresponding sides to be proportional. If all pairs of corresponding sides are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. So let's look at an example here. Here I have triangle BAT and triangle FRS. I have all three sets of sides in both triangles. So let's look at the proportional sides. I have side BA. BA is the smallest of the three sides in that first triangle. Side FR is the smallest in the second triangle. Those would be my corresponding sides. And then I would look at the middle sides, the one that's four and on the other figure eight, and then the six and the 12. And I'm gonna look at what those ratios reduce to. So to begin, side BA and FR have a ratio that reduces three six becomes one half. The next set of sides, AT and RS, would be four eighths, which again reduces to one half. And the last set of sides, the BT and FS, have six twelfths, which again reduces to one half. Because all three pairs of corresponding sides have the same ratio, they're proportional. They all reduce to one half, so this is triangles are similar, and we know this is true because we had the ratios of corresponding sides, which gives us SSS similarity theorem. So when you're doing SSS similarity theorem, you're not looking at any angles, you're looking for all three pairs of corresponding sides. Show that all three sides, all three pairs of corresponding sides are proportional, and you've shown the triangles are similar by SSS similarity theorem. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that it helps you understand this.